Guys, they said Paropo cried bitterly as chief security of the palace revealed how Oloru TikTok offered him five hundred dollar to walk uh, to wipe the CCTV camera in the palace to save her. <laughs> what that shall never end. Paropo said, "Why is it that it is in his turn that all of these atrocities are happening in the palace?" That the, that the kind of news that they are hearing among these women have never been heard of from a king in Ileife. Why is it happening in his turn? What crime have he committed? Why is his own different? That other king used to marry many wives and yet he will not be hearing this kind of stories. Why is his own different? They said the man cried. The man cried. How did it happen? According to what we are hearing, you know, they said uh, uh, on TikTok, we have heard that she went to KBS's uh, chambers and collected Queen Naomi's passports and uh, sent it to Queen Naomi's mother. But before the information got leaked, they said a uh, few days after she did that, there was uh, maybe they were having a discussion and they told her that CCTV camera is mounted all over the palace, even where they cannot find, see. You know, they were telling her so that she would be cautious, not knowing that she have committed one before then. And they said when she asked them if it is also mounted in KBSC's chambers, both in his room and everywhere, they said yes. Yeah? They said even in his room, they said Yes. She didn't believe it from maybe I don't know if they were discussing it among the Oloris or I don't know, but they said there was a discussion where the issue of CCTV camera came up, and or maybe they were planning on what to do, and maybe one of them suggested that they shouldn't do it or they should be careful because of the CCTV camera. Then that was how they discussed it to the point that they even talked about Kabir system and they told her that they have cameras there. She didn't believe it. They said after that discussion, she called the chief security and asked the chief security. She called the chief security with her number and asked the chief security if there is a CCTV camera in KBSC's chamber. The guy said yes. And it's like the chief security is the one in the control room. I don't know. But it's like he have access to that place. You know? And they said uh, Olori TikTok was shocked. She asked him again, are you sure? Can you swear to it? The man said yes, that he is very sure of it. How do you think that a, a, a king as big as Kabiesi will stay without um, placing CCTV camera everywhere? Ha! That the kind of CCTV camera that he placed there is even something that nobody will even notice that the thing is there. And if you have, if you have been following this thing, sometime around last month or last two months or so, they said they have to call people from ZIT, uh, one of these foreign countries to come and restore new sets, the, 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 uh, the latest uh, CCTV camera. And that was when Kwenomi was returning back to the palace. That, during that period that they say after the installation of the CCTV camera, CCTV cameras, she returned back to the royal manor. So they said she, could, she didn't believe it. They, they said why the man told him that he can swear with his life that there is CCTV camera there. He, she caught the phone and told the man that she's going to call him back with a different number. There is something I noticed. Maybe that different number that he decided, she decided to call this man with is the number that they used to do some, some of their dirty job. They said shortly after some minutes, uh, that new number called the security guard. And they said the man was uh, smart enough to know that this lady is up to something. And they said he started recording their conversation. They said he, uh, when, he, when she called with the new number, she asked the man again, are you sure? The man said yes. She said uh, there is something she would want the security guard to do for her that is a favor. She would want the security guard to do her a favor. And as long as they are still in this palace together, that she is going to return the favor 
in maybe in a thousand food in due time but she is ready to offer the man a token just to do her that favor the security guard was surprised what kind of favor then he was recording everything because he noticed that the moment she changed her number that she is up to something they said the man uh, started recording when she she asked for the favor, they said the man asked her, what is that? What can I do for you? They said she told the man that there is something that she did in KBS's, uh, uh chambers a, a day ago that she, had, she wants the man to wipe the CCTV camera from that, as in for that day, so, so time, from so-so time to so-so time so that there will be nothing that the thing captured. The man was like, okay, why do you want to do that? They said, she told the man that it is none of his business, that what uh, he needs to do is what she ordered him to do, that she is ready to give the man $500. And they said, the man told him, told her, sorry, that he doesn't have a domiciliary account, as in dollar account, where she can transfer the money because she was telling the she told him that she is ready to do the transfer immediately and they said uh the man told her that she doesn't have it that like and that uh she he is going to look for someone that have a domiciliary account so that the that so that all of the tiktok will transfer the money to the person and the man said that because he doesn't want that he doesn't want to do the job but he cannot tell her no because she might go as far as hurting him then they said the man uh, when she said uh, he told her that uh, he would go and look for someone with domiciliary account they said already toby told him no that what she, uh, they would do is that after uh, taking care of the kids that she is coming to that she will come to the control room to come and see if the man have done it already before he will make that transfer they said the man said okay few hours later one uh, they said she was expecting to hear from the man the man did not call again ever since then she, they said she have been calling the man non-stop and when the man thought that <laughs> He needs to share this information with another person before it gets too late. That was how they said he rushed to Paropo's house. And when he got to Paropo's house, Paropo was like, what is it? And they said he played the whole thing. He did not go ahead to tell Paropo. The only thing he told Paropo was, I have a message for you. And they said he played that voiceover for paropo and they said paropo shed tears they said the man cried and was lamenting bitterly what have he done to deserve this why is it happening in his tone my people wonder shall never end though if all of this information is true kbc is in for a serious big anyway guys don't forget that these are all alleged information okay always bear that in mind give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share my video i love you guys bye see you